guys welcome back to my channel in today's video i will show you some tips and tricks how to build better in adopt me if i was a beginner or new at this game this would really help me so i hope this will help you i hope you will enjoy this video give big thumbs up subscribe and don't forget to turn the notifications on you can also follow me on my social medias and join my roblox group let's get started so the first tip is to use placement grid size to get into places you normally can't. If you are a beginner, I recommend you to use more the large space. And when you figure out how to build, you can use small space and make awesome buildings. Learn to work with barrier. It will be much easier for you. I can't imagine building without barrier. I use them always when I am building new rooms, houses and their equipment. But if you are in a small space and the barrier is too big, don't use barrier, use a shelf instead. It's much easier with it in a small space. Don't use Adopt Me original furniture if it does not fit into the interior style. Make your custom one and believe me, it will look awesome! Use secret colors. There are some pretty nice shades that I know you will like. You can play with colors and make new combinations with it. You can check my video. I recommend to use colored lights for a better wipe and quality. Unicorn and a penguin. And when it's at night, it looks so good because of the shades and everything. If you want your pool to be transparent or show up the shades, Turn up your graphics quality in app settings. I don't know if it works on mobile phone, but it definitely works on computer. If you want the buttons to disappear, just click on some item, click on color and then on cancel. Then the buttons disappear and you can make house tours or photos easily without disturbing buttons. If you want to put more trees, books, glasses or some other decorations, don't make it in one color. Use more shades or pick some color palette for better effect. Trust me, colors change everything. Fill the empty space with decorations, for example, with candles, books, trees, glasses or whatever you want. Or you can make your own decoration or paint or a picture. I recommend you to separate some rooms with a glass barrier, because you will create a more open space. You can see more rooms at once and it looks just beautiful. Don't be scared to make your own walls and roofs, if the space don't fit you. You don't need to fill the whole space. If you don't like some color of the original Adopt Me stuff, cover them with bricks or chopping boards. I usually use it on bed because not every time I like the brown. Mm -hmm. 
If the Adobe Me original windows don't fit in your house, make your own realistic ones. And if you don't have space for that, you can just make window from some mirror and bricks, or rack and bricks. Use bricks for cute interiors and chopping boards for the realistic ones. Or you can use both and make very unique furniture and house. Be patient, building in Adobe Me isn't easy and it isn't perfect. For example, sometimes you can place an item in a place that you want and it can make you angry. So, be patient. I recommend to set a slower rotation. Camera sensitivity. I think it's much better and you can focus more on building. If you want to make your own unique house, just go to the glitch room or secret room. And build your own build. Or you can just use it to add some more rooms to your house. If you want to have items symmetrical, First move your item and then rotate it. Don't make it in any other order. And if you make it in this order, you can place the item in a place where you normally can't. And the last and most important tip is... Be creative! If you are looking for some inspiration, on YouTube there are many speed builds. Or you can find great rooms on Pinterest. Actually, Pinterest is my biggest inspiration now. So, this was my 20 tips and tricks how to build better in Adopt Me. If you have some other tips that may be helpful, comment down below and I can do another part. Let me know what tip or trick was the best. Give like, subscribe and don't forget to hit the bell button. Have a nice day and bye!